Hello everyone, I'm Danny Steven from MakeUsif.com, and today we'll be taking a look at this Chromebook from Asus. Now this is an 11.6 inch model that you can get for about $250, which is pretty cheap actually. In fact, the only Chromebook that's even cheaper is the Acer C720. However, there are some differences between those two Chromebooks as the price may uh, tell you. So is it worth paying a little bit more for the better specs or should you rather go for the cheapest of the cheap if you're already going cheap in the first place? Let's take a look. I do like the exterior of this Asus Chromebook, uh, especially with the black and silver tones that it switches between. The lid right here comes with black and it has sort of a glossy finish, um, but it looks a little bit more matte than that. Um, and it does uh, pretty well, except here on the outsides as far as fingerprints are concerned, so you do see some smears here along the sides. Now on the bottom here, we also have a black but very matte finish. Um, you might also think that it does not have a fan, but actually when you open it on the other side of this hinge right here, it does have a fan to keep the insides cool. And when we open the Chromebook, you'll notice here around the display, uh, there is another black matte finish. Um, and then here along the keyboard and around it um, is a silver, more glossy finish. Um, not terribly glossy, but at least more than it is up here. Now let's take a look at the ports. Over here we have a Kensington lock and a USB 2.0 port. And on the other side we have a combination headphone and microphone jack, an SD card reader, a USB 3.0 port, and an HDMI port, and a power port. The 11.6 inch display that comes with this Chromebook has a 1366 by 768 resolution. That's the same as the 11.6 inch model of the Samsung Chromebook 2, and also the same as the 13.3 inch model of the Toshiba CB35 Chromebook. So for the display size, it has a pretty good resolution. Anything higher than that, such as 1080p, can reasonably be expected for a 13.3 inch display or above, uh, such as the Samsung uh, Chromebook 2. Now here we also have a webcam with an undisclosed amount of megapixels, which is a shame, but uh, somehow that those details were not published. Uh, here we also have an indicator and then a pretty functional microphone. It definitely gets the job done. The performance on this Chromebook is quite good, especially since it has a dual-core uh, Bay Trail Celeron chip rated at 2.1 GHz that can boost up to 2.4 GHz when necessary. Uh, the performance is great, I tried out some YouTube videos and it all ran just fine. It did struggle sometimes, but not always, on 1080p resolution videos, but in all honesty, you probably won't really need to uh, ask YouTube for 1080p videos anyways, since the display can only go up to 768, so um, you won't really see any difference, if at all, um, past 720p. Now, the speakers are alright, they're not as great, which I expected for a Chromebook this cheap, uh, but it does uh, get the job done. It did sound a little bit weird at first, very uh, tinny or canny or whatever you want to call it, um, but then after a while you get used to it and then it's fine. It's, it's definitely not um, a set of speakers that an audiophile would listen to, for sure. Um, but it gets the job done. Uh, you can still listen to some music with it. Uh, you won't get a lot of bass with it, um, like I said, but it gets the job done. And to show an example of these speakers... Chips. Yeah, we can do it. Yeah, we can totally do that. It just wouldn't have your charm. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's what I'm known for, is my charm. Charm, yeah, your charm. Could we give him a female body though? I feel like we have a minority quote to fulfill it. How about we just give him a female voice and leave the body exactly as it is? So as you can hear, the speakers definitely get the job done. Um, they're just not fantastic. I definitely like the keyboard on this Chromebook, however, as the keys are spaced out far enough to where you won't accidentally hit any other keys, and they also have a lot of travel 
which I personally like a lot, which uh, because it makes me feel like I'm actually pressing keys on the keyboard and not getting um, you know a very shallow travel to where I barely get a response whether or not I pressed a key. The trackpad, on the other hand, is uh, mediocre. It it does work. Um, pretty well, especially if you keep your finger very light uh, on the trackpad, but once ever you do it a little bit heavier, um, then your finger might start bouncing, although it's not exactly doing it this time. But sometimes the finger does bounce a little bit, and then also whenever that happens, you can feel uh, that the trackpad uh, doesn't have very good build quality. Um, it isn't very stable in here. Um, it, it kind of rattles whenever your finger does bounce on it, so it's not just a uh, strange surface that makes your finger bounce, like it actually rattles a little bit too. And I really wish that I could show this, but um, apparently right now my fingers just, oh. Okay, so that wasn't uh, a very good example, but maybe you could kind of hear it just a little bit. Um, that's one thing I don't really like um, about this Chromebook, just that the trackpad um, isn't that great. I feel like it could have maybe been built a little bit better and then this Chromebook would be really, really great. I mean, either way, it still is, um, because the trackpad is still usable and like I just tried to show you but couldn't, um, it sometimes does it but other times it's just fine. Um, so overall, the keyboard and trackpad combined are very good. So I already touched a little bit on build quality as far as the trackpad was concerned, but what about the rest of the Chromebook? Uh, I have to say that the build quality is fantastic. Um, the display is very properly assembled. Um, I don't hear any creaking or uh, whatever else. The hinge works quite well, almost too well. As you can see, it lifted the bottom of the Chromebook just a little bit. Um, there aren't really any problems here. Um, it's also flat, completely flat, so um, that much care was uh, put into building this Chromebook. So overall, it has very nice build quality and um, definitely worth the extra bit of money um, that you would pay for it. So there you have it. That was a review of the Asus Chromebook. Now, could I recommend this Chromebook or should you try to get a different one? I definitely recommend this one because it is a great performer, it feels good in your hand and it just flies, it does whatever you want, it's not too expensive, it's not too big, it's not too heavy, it's really pretty good, like I, I like it a lot, pretty good doesn't sound like it's very impressive, but it is, it, it's very nice especially for the price and Asus has always made some pretty awesome uh, laptops, especially recently, and this by far is one of them. So for the full review, please head over to makeuseup.com and don't forget to enter the giveaway so that you can win this awesome Chromebook. Thanks for watching.